I think 2014 is going to be a bit of a mixed year. Overall, I would say it's going to be a good year for small, medium-sized enterprises, but it ain't going to be sensational. We're not going to be looking back on it 10 years from now and going, wow, that was a huge turning point. I'd say it's more of a stabilizing point, not quite a plateau, bit of a sawtooth shape, but overall, I'd say the signs are good. There are some barriers that we could do something about that are still impeding businesses. Uh, two major ones I'd mention. The first one is capital. You know, if you're a small, medium-sized business, if you're looking for a few million, it's really hard to get it. If you're looking for, if you're a bit of a bigger company and you want to have a facility of 15, 20 million, or even you just want to have leverage on your balance sheet of 100 or 150 million, that's actually easier in many ways to get. If you're a really small company and you're looking for 50 grand or maybe a few hundred thousand, that's also reasonably easy to get. You've got School for Startups, British Growth Fund, lots of different ways you can do that. But if you're a small, medium-sized enterprise and what you're looking for is two or three million, well, forget going to the banks, you're just not going to get it. It's quite tough. And that is dampening ambitions because without that capital, that risk capital, that growth capital, then you can't capitalise on any upswing, even across Europe. I think that, uh, that, that businesses that are doing best are those that are being enterprising. It may seem very obvious, but it's so tempting for businesses, and we've seen a lot of this, that when times are hard, that they almost like pull themselves back into their shell, batten down the hatches and imagine that, you know, we're going to wait until things get better. The ones that are doing really well are driving expansion, whether it be across Europe, China, India, or wherever. So they're coming up with great ideas, they're being entrepreneurial, they're taking some risks, somehow they're getting access to capital and they're going for it. And that comes through, I think, quite clearly in the report. We're good at that. As a country, we are very good at that. You know, it's not so much about made in Britain, it's about created in Britain. We are fantastic ideas uh, culture. The business I used to be the CEO of, Dyson, was unbelievably good, still is today in this area, it comes up with fantastic ideas, innovative ideas that are hailed the world over. The reputation that, that UK has overseas is consistently excellent. Uh, the, the, over there, they think we do great stuff. And the businesses that are recognizing that and throwing themselves at that, I think are doing really well. If your product or your idea or your service lends itself to overseas uh, you know, uh, markets, that is a tremendous thing to do for obvious reasons, not just the financial reasons, but you're spreading your risk. Next time a recession comes along, you're not totally exposed to UK. You know, part of your exposure is UK, part of your exposure is over there. But you have to be careful too. It's not easy. It's a great thing to do. It carries with it risk. So you've got to get, select your countries very, very carefully and make sure you think your strategy through very carefully. And then execution is all. The National Business Awards, which is something I've been associated with now for two or three years, it's, uh, for me, the work they do is really important. Because what they do is they go out into the business community and they encourage businesses to effectively stand up and be counted. So what they're saying to business all over the country is, here is a platform for you to show what you do, to, to meet like-minded businesses, meet your peers, and effectively to compete. Yeah? and to gain recognition for what you do. It, it creates a whole buzz around UK business, Business UK, right? which is very, very positive. So it's very supportive. I mean, David Cameron uh, said at, the, uh, at the la his message to the last National Business Awards conference back in November was how critical it is for the recovery and the future prosperity of UK that small businesses, medium-sized businesses, like the ones supported by the National Business Award, uh, keep doing what they're doing. And the National Business Awards is like glue to me. It holds a part of that process together. But there is little doubt that there's some evidence of a bit of a brain drain from the northeast part of the country, Scotland, down into London. I don't know whether that's inevitable or not. But equally, I can tell you, because I've looked at the hundreds of businesses that are active and competing in the National Business Awards, there are loads of them that are not based in London, nowhere near. Right? And I think that's, 
it's, you, it doesn't matter where you are, frankly. If you've got the right strategy, the right plan, the right leadership, you can have a successful business. Sometimes it's a distinct advantage. I'd be supportive of pretty much anything that I think is going to encourage business flow, whether that's moving people around, creating enterprise and jobs in its own right. You know, Obviously, I'd draw the line at a project that I thought was actually going to take us towards more deficit than growth. So you've got to look at the macroeconomics too. But one of the great things, I think, about the, the place that we're at now is there's a lot of ideas and some very big ones bubbling out there. And we need to grab a few and make them happen, in my view.